Hello, I'm Garrison and you're not, and this is my vlog number 26. And I know I have like three subscribers so far, this is the last time I checked, and hardly any views on my videos, which is sad because some of my videos have no views whatsoever. I even posted one on Facebook about doggies and hopefully I get some views. Anyways, ah, it's a fascinating digital world and I'm glad you're in it with me. Welcome to my vlog channel. If you like this video, do the thumbs up, click thumbs up. If you don't like it, click thumbs down. If you want to make a comment, comment. If you want to get into discussion on the main desktop site of the YouTube, you go to YouTube on your desktop, which is a computer site, or just go to the full site on whatever you're using, and look for the word discussion that's next to the word about, and you will you can make comments there too. And on the about, you tell it tells you what this channel is all about. Another thing it's about, there's my links to my other places that you can see me at, and which is Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, I believe. Yeah, and it also has a, a thingy down there that you can make a donation on my main channel, on this channel, and not on other two channels, though. And if you want to make a donation for a penny or something, that would help me make better videos. <laughs> and... <laughs> And subscribe, it's free to subscribe to this channel and my other channels if you want to. Just look under the word channels and you look for um, featured channels and it'll feature my main channel, my other two channels, and that's it. And if you like them, that's fine. Go like them, go subscribe to them. If you don't like them, you can thumbs down them on the videos or whatever. And that's all. Yeah, subscribing is free and it's free to watch me anytime you want to because you have nothing else to do. And because I have something to say. Today we went to a place that was ruled by a king and they sell burgers. And we had the five for four. Five things for four dollars. Which includes a burger with uh, bacon on it. Bacon cheeseburger and a little one. And four chicken nuggets. That's two things. And a soda. Small soda. That's three things. And uh, small fries. That's four things. And a cookie. Which is five things. Chocolate chip cookie. And I don't know if you can sub substitute the fries for... For a for a small salad, but I never I never side salad, whatever. I never asked him. I mean, one guy said it would mess it up, but he was probably a new guy and didn't know how to do it. But maybe he'll ask money these days. Anyways, I don't know if he could do that because it's a special. But in, in most menus, you can change the fries for a side salad. Just ask them. Even all the major places, you know, all the other burger joints, the one ruled by the king and the other one that's. Ruled by a clown that has a Scottish name that starts with Mick, and then there's a there's a other places. I don't know. Anyway, anyways, the main team. He's being Klingon again. No, no, he doesn't know what he's saying. Oh yeah, later on I will watch um, BBC News at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time on on PBS. Check your local listings. PBS. Look for BBC World News. Okay, and then after at 5.30, after I watch that, I watch ABC World News. Check your local listings. ABC, check your local listings every day. You got to watch the World News because BBC World News and ABC World News talk about World News that the other channels don't talk about. Usually. Yes. Oh, some bad news. Abe Vigoda died. He's a he's an old actor that goes back years and years and played a... Uh, all kinds of creatures and stuff in the back in the past, you know. And he was 94 years old and he died in his sleep over at his daughter's house, which is sad. He went to go visit his daughter and, and, and she found him dead. And he passed away that, that night, that Tuesday, early Tuesday morning, I guess he checked on. That's today. Anyways, today is Tuesday, January 26th, 2016. And so far, I've done a vlog. For every day of this month, even though I didn't vlog every day of this month, I vlogged twice on Saturdays and twice on Mondays to make up for the days that I didn't vlog on, which were Fridays and Sunday, because I don't do anything that I might make characters up on Friday and Sundays. I write things down to get character ideas, and I got to put the costumes together, you know, the various hats and and facial expressions. No, just kidding. And <laughs> voices, and wigs, and hats, and and shirts, and whatever is going to show up in the video. Yeah, oh yeah, that'll be later on. 
probably spring. Uh, I know the Captain Blue will show up on my main channel pretty soon, and probably the other channels too. Because the Renaissance Festival is in spring, and I will be dressed as a pirate for that day, and I might keep that pirate outfit on for a while, because I'll have my hat and I'll just vlog. I'll probably vlog that day. If we go there Sunday, we usually go there on Sunday, I think, if we take our sister with us. Or they have a Friday, because she's off Fridays. She usually goes with us to the Renaissance Festival since she came out here from, originally from Kentucky. Anyways, she was born in Florida, though. I was born in Riverside, California. We all now live in Muskogee. Except for my oldest brother, he lives in Arizona with his wife. Yeah. But you can get, I'll just do that for background. You know, behind the scenes, I'll, I'll tell you all about that. Who, who cares about that? Oh, anyways, I look red and so it's nice and warm outside, and hot, like 40 degrees. And my brother Mark, my guest brother, he is walking my dog Buster, who showed up in one in a few of my vlogs. You know, so you see what he looks like. So stupid white hair right there. I'm old! I'm old! And then I'm sad and lonely and I have no friends! <laughs> pirate guy! See my pirate look? After the Renaissance Festival, I'm going to shave the mustache off and turn the beard. And I don't know if I'll turn the hair or not. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. The hair. Ah, I love my banana. Anyways, uh, uh, I'm going to do some cosplay and some other stuff. You know, dressing up for the camera and act like an idiot. Like, to get viewers, I don't know. Or just for fun. I don't know. There's hardly anybody watching this. Anyways, I only have three subscribers that I know of. You know, my oldest my brother. And his wife, and my uh, one of my friends, and that's about it. And yes, I do have friends. I'm just kidding. I didn't have any friends. <laughs> Most of my friends live in California. <laughs> well, they used to. Some of them moved to the other states. But anyways, what have you been doing lately? Yeah, really? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any friends in Oklahoma? That's a good question. Not really. Anyways, now uh, they're all living in different states. Anyways, let's see. Interesting stuff happening in the news. Yeah. Terrorism. Some crazy fat guy that rules North Korea. A little pudgy dude. Looks like a Twinkie. Um, mm, uh, like I said earlier, Saudi Arabia and Iran might have war because they're having problems with their stupidity. You know. Saudi Arabia wants their extreme version of Islam to be the main Islam. And Iran wants their extreme version of Islam to be Islam. When Islam is just stupid anyways. Just read the Quran. It's stupid. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff that Muhammad wanted revenge on his stupid families that didn't want to listen to him and so on. And his version of the Bible that he rewrote. So that his ancestor Ishmael got the blessing instead of Isaac, like the Bible says, which is older than the Quran. Yeah. Yeah, and then he tried to rewrite the New Testament too. Yeah, but there's a verse in there that says, that followers of Jesus are better than those that don't follow Jesus. So that's one thing that's right. Anyways, I've been talking for 8 minutes and 32 seconds about nothing. And yes, I read the Quran twice from the beginning to the end of it and found nothing useful in it. Because it's also it's all always about revenge and destruction and, and the only thing that guarantees to go to heaven by Allah is if you die in battle. A fair battle, not blowing yourself up. This is nothing. It says nothing about blowing yourself up or committing suicide. That's obviously stupid, because even in the Quran, you go to hell for that. Suicide, you go to hell. And it says homosexuality is evil, and you go to hell for that. They actually stone and kill homosexuals. We we don't. We ignore them in our country, or or whatever, or just say, uh, that's the way they are. Let God take care of them. But in their country, they execute them. As a matter of fact, they execute you if you convert from Islam to Christianity. That's in all Islamic countries. It's illegal to convert from Islam to any religion. You get executed. You get to death sentence. If you say anything against Muhammad, you get death sentence. If you say anything against Allah, you get death sentence because it's blasphemy charges. And also various other crimes get, oh, exaggeratory amounts of cutting hands off and your head and whatnot and stonings. And who knows? And that's, some of them are our allies, like Egypt and uh, Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. They got extreme. The only difference between this one place called Islamic State is uh and, and, and Saudi Arabia is that one's our ally, Saudi Arabia. And they have the extreme version of Sunni 
Islam, which believes that everybody should have their head cut off, except your, uh, your, unless you're a Muslim. And that's true. Just look it up. Google it if you don't blame me. Anyways, and people say, oh, Islam is a, is a uh, religion of peace. Yeah, as long as you, you uh, convert to it and you're subjected under it and you don't say nothing against it because there's no freedom of speech or press or anything like that in any of those countries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And women are treated as second-rate citizens. First, they belong to their father or their family, and then they belong to their husband after they get married. And they can't go anywhere without going with a male par person from their family whether it be the son, nephew, or a brother, or something like that, because if they're found walking the streets by themselves, they'll be accused of being a hooker and arrested, and you know, harassed and stuff like that. And that's true. Just Google it. Anyways, I'm Kerzan, and you've just learned a lot about Islamic countries by me because I studied them and looked it up and gave them, you know, a fair chance at proving that they're not what some people say they were. But in fact, I proved that they're even worse than I thought. Ah! I'm glad I'm in the United States of America. God bless America. Land of the free. Where even idiots can say whatever they want. Because it's guaranteed under the Constitution. Yeah. That's great. And then we are land of idiots. <laughs> but we're proud to be idiots. And some of us are all not idiots. But, you know, at least we have freedom of speech. Whether it's we're stupid speech or not speech, you know what I mean. And we have the freedom of religion; we can practice any kind of religion we want to. Whether we want to worship a potato or a cabbage or or some guy down the road or some idiot that died a long time ago or Jesus, the true Messiah and only God in the flesh that there is, you know what I mean. Or we can make up a god and worship that. Or whatever it doesn't matter. We're, we're guaranteed to, to be able to do that under our constitution, which is good as long as one religion doesn't try to force itself over all the other ones unless it's the true religion of Christ himself. And only Christ can do that because even even when a church takes over the state, uh, eventually egos will get all over the place and and people fall because they're we're not perfect. Only Christ is perfect. And only Christ can make a perfect government under Christ. Right? And there wouldn't be no freedom of religion then. It would just be freedom to worship Christ or go to the lake of fire. Ha 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 ha! But he was be, he'd be the only true dictator that, that knows what's right for us because we are human and we don't all the time. Okay, that's all for now. I'm Garrison and you're not. And it's been over 12 minutes and I apologize for wasting your time listening to me. But if you learned anything, you can make comments. Whether they're good or bad, I don't care. Just tell me. I've been Garrison, and I always will be Garrison, and I was Garrison just a moment ago, and I will be Garrison in the future, but you will never be me! So, bye for now, and I'll sing the, the end of the vlog song. The end of the vlog. This is the end of the vlog. End of the vlog number 26. Goodbye, and farewell, my friend. See you next time. Once again, I've got to go eat my late lunch, early dinner. Bye-bye. So long.